Hi, in this video, we will talk about playwright and first playwright program. So in this video, we'll try to write a first playwright program and we'll see what are the options and how to write a program and how to execute that. Okay. So in our previous videos, we have seen that what is playwright and with features, how to set up a playwright uh, in your, what you say like IntelliJ, you see that we added test ng, playwright, all these things. So duplicate added. Let me remove this. Okay. And then we have seen the important terminology, what is playwright, browser type, browser, browser context, page, locator, everything. So in this video, we will see how to write a playwright program. Okay. So I will create test ng test method, public void first program. Okay. You can name anything you want. So, but I given first program. So in this, first one, it, what we need to do. So playwright. Okay. So playwright is equals to playwright dot create. Okay. So playwright dot create. And then we need to go to browser type. Okay. And then browser type is equals to playwright dot. You see that Chrome, Chromium, something like that, that we will discuss later. So we have seen here, right? Notes, playwright and browser type and then browser, browser context and then page. So we'll go in the same order. So browser type and then browser. You need to create a browser instance. So browser is equals to browser type dot launch. Okay. Browser type dot launch. And then browser context now. Browser context dot Then what is that we are taking browser context? Sorry, is equals to browser dot new context. We need to create a new context. So then page. Finally, page. So page page is equals to browser context dot new page. So we can create multiple pages. We already discussed. So I can create a new page with the help of new page method. I can create. So now with the help of page, page will have all the methods. So page dot navigate and then HTTP colon. I'll go to play right dot dev official website. And then how I'll come to know that whether I went there or not. So I'll try to print the title. Okay. You have page dot title with the help of title method. You can print the title. Then we'll come to know that whether it went there or not. Okay, so I am done writing the first playwright program. So playwright, playwright equal to playwright dot create. Browser, browser type is equal to playwright dot chromium. And browser is equal to browser type dot launch. And browser context is equal to browser dot new context. And then page is equal to browser context dot new page. And then this page will have all the methods to interact with your elements. So page dot navigate, it will navigate to that particular URL. And these things will open your browser. What is that browser? Chromium. What is Chromium? That we will discuss later. Okay. So, and then page dot navigate, navigating to here. And to make sure that whether it went there or not, I'm printing the title of the web page. Okay. So let me execute this and we'll see what happens, whether it will open any browser or not. You see that? So it passed and it is printing fast and reliable end to end testing for modern web apps playwright. So it is printing the title, but I don't see any browser. Okay. But I don't see any browsers. So in playwright, by default, all the browsers will, will be headless, will be executed in headless mode. So if you want to see that, 
we need to change options okay what are the options browser launch options will have a launch options browser type launch option with the help of launch options you can make it like you know open a browser not in headless mode but by default in playwright everything will be in the headless mode so how to open your uh, our, how to open browser and if you want to see that browser we will see that in our next videos but in first playwright program this is what is enough to write your first program and execute okay it is executing printing the title but in our next videos we will see what is chromium what are these options and how to use chromium and the different browsers and if you want to use if you if you do not want to use in headless mode if you want to see the browser how you can do that so everything we will learn step by step in our upcoming videos but here just a first playwright program how to write so we need playwright instance browser type instance browser instance browser context instance and page instance okay so if you do not want to write everything okay if you do not want to write everything so you can simplify this also so page page is equals to playwright dot create dot okay chromium dot you can say launch okay launch dot new context dot new page that's it in a single line you can manage all these things playwright dot create dot chromium dot launch dot new context dot new page okay so we'll try to execute again whether it is working fine or not but it purely depends upon the requirement if you want to create multiple contexts you cannot do like that you need to create a browser context instance first then only you can do this you see that it is printing and it passed but it purely depends upon your requirement sometimes you need multiple browser context that time you need to create a browser and browser context multiple instances browser context one browser context two something like that okay and if you want to create multiple pages for a browser context that time also you need multiple browser context so it purely depends upon your requirement if it is simple program you just practicing then you can manage something like this okay so this is the first playwright program with java okay so that's all in this video please like the video share the video and uh, you know put your comments means uh, put your comments in the comment section means uh, you share your thoughts okay and subscribe to the channel thank you